In our modern world, financial concerns often weigh heavily on our minds. The pursuit of financial stability and abundance is a common goal for many people, regardless of their background or beliefs. For practitioners of Nichiren Buddhism, the question often arises, can we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money? The answer is not as straightforward as one might think, and it requires a deeper understanding of the philosophy behind this powerful practice. First and foremost, it's crucial to understand that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is not a magical incantation for material gain. Nichiren Daishonin, the 13th century Buddhist priest who established this practice, taught that the purpose of chanting is to reveal our innate Buddha nature and align our lives with the fundamental law of the universe. He wrote, Believe in the Gohonzon with all your heart. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? This passage suggests that the power of chanting goes far beyond mere material benefits. It's about summoning forth our inner strength and wisdom to overcome any obstacle, including financial difficulties. However, this doesn't mean that chanting for financial stability or abundance is wrong or misguided. The key lies in understanding the true nature of wealth from a Buddhist perspective. Daisaku Ikeda explains, true wealth is not about the abundance of money or material possessions. It's about the richness of our lives, our ability to create value and contribute to the happiness of ourselves and others. This perspective shifts our focus from merely accumulating money to cultivating a state of life that naturally attracts abundance in all its forms. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with the intention of improving our financial situation, we're not simply asking for money to fall from the sky. Instead, we're tapping into our innate wisdom and creativity to find solutions to our financial challenges. We're cultivating the courage to take necessary actions and the perseverance to overcome obstacles. Nichiren wrote, Fortune comes from one's heart and makes one worthy of respect. This profound statement suggests that true wealth originates from within. By chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we're polishing our lives, revealing our Buddha nature, and becoming the kind of person who naturally attracts good fortune. It's important to note that chanting for money should not be driven by greed or attachment to material wealth. Buddhism teaches the middle way, avoiding the extremes of both indulgence and asceticism. The goal is not to accumulate vast riches for their own sake, but to achieve a state of financial stability that allows us to live with dignity and contribute to society. Jose Toda often emphasized the importance of having the right attitude towards money. He said, money is neither good nor evil. It's how we use it that matters. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for financial stability, we should do so with the intention of using our resources wisely and for the benefit of ourselves and others. The practice of chanting for financial abundance also involves taking concrete actions in our daily lives. Nichiren Buddhism teaches the principle of faith, practice, and study. While chanting is a crucial part of our practice, it should be accompanied by efforts to improve our financial situation through practical means, such as developing new skills, seeking better employment opportunities, or managing our resources more effectively. Nichiren wrote, Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This teaching reminds us that chanting is not a quick fix for financial problems. It's a lifelong practice that helps us develop the resilience and wisdom to navigate both prosperity and adversity. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money, we should also be open to receiving abundance in unexpected forms. Sometimes, the universe responds to our prayers in ways we didn't anticipate. We might receive a job opportunity instead of a direct financial windfall, or we might discover a talent that leads to a new source of income. The key is to remain open and grateful for all forms of abundance that enter our lives. Daisaku Ikeda offers this perspective. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we are not praying to some external being to grant our wishes. We are tapping into the wisdom and compassion within our own lives. This understanding helps us approach our financial goals with a sense of personal responsibility and empowerment. 
it's also important to consider the karmic aspect of our financial situation. In Buddhist thought, karma refers to the law of cause and effect that shapes our lives. While we can't change our past actions, we can create new causes for a more prosperous future through our present thoughts, words, and deeds. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo helps us transform our karma and create positive causes in our lives. Nichiren wrote, If you wish to free yourself from the sufferings of birth and death you have endured since time without beginning and to attain without fail unsurpassed enlightenment in this lifetime, you must perceive the mystic truth that is originally inherent in all living beings. This passage reminds us that the ultimate goal of our practice is not material wealth, but spiritual enlightenment. Financial stability can be seen as a means to this end, allowing us to focus on our spiritual growth without the constant stress of financial insecurity. When chanting for money, it's crucial to maintain a sense of appreciation for what we already have. Gratitude is a powerful force that can attract more abundance into our lives. By chanting with a heart full of appreciation, we open ourselves to receive even more blessings. Nichiren Buddhism also teaches the concept of changing poison into medicine. This principle suggests that we can transform even the most challenging financial circumstances into opportunities for growth and victory. When we face financial difficulties, we can use our practice to develop wisdom, courage, and creativity that will serve us well beyond our immediate monetary concerns. It's worth noting that the benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money often extend beyond our individual lives. As we improve our financial situation, we become better equipped to help others and contribute to society. This aligns with the Buddhist ideal of practice for self and others, JPN. Jigyo Kita. Daisaku Akeda emphasizes this point. True happiness is not found in material wealth or selfish pursuit of pleasure. It lies in working for the happiness of others. When we chant for financial abundance with this mindset, we're not just seeking personal gain, but striving to become individuals who can make a positive difference in the world. Another important aspect to consider when chanting for money is the concept of earthly desires are enlightenment. JPN. Bano Soku Bodai. This principle suggests that our worldly desires, including the desire for financial stability, can be a path to enlightenment when approached with the right mindset. Instead of rejecting or feeling guilty about our financial aspirations, we can use them as motivation to deepen our faith and practice. Nichiren wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This teaching reminds us to maintain our practice consistently, whether we're experiencing financial hardship or abundance. It's through this consistent practice that we develop the inner strength and wisdom to handle any financial situation. When chanting for money, it's also important to set clear intentions. While we should remain open to how abundance manifests in our lives, having specific financial goals can help focus our practice. These goals should be realistic and aligned with our values. For example, we might chant to find a job that allows us to support our family comfortably, or to develop the skills needed to start a business that contributes to society. It's crucial to remember that chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is not a passive practice. It should inspire us to take action towards our financial goals. This might involve seeking financial education, networking with others in our desired field, or taking calculated risks to improve our financial situation. Our chanting practice gives us the courage and wisdom to take these actions effectively. Nichiren Buddhism also teaches the importance of helping others achieve financial stability. As we chant for our own prosperity, we should also consider how we can use our resources and knowledge to support others. This might involve mentoring someone in their career, contributing to charitable causes, or simply sharing the empowering teachings of Nichiren Buddhism with those who are struggling financially. Daisaku Ikeda offers this perspective. A great human revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change in the destiny of a nation and, further, will enable a change in the destiny of all humankind. 
When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money with this broader perspective, we're not just working towards personal gain, but contributing to positive change on a larger scale. It's also important to be patient and persistent in our practice. Financial changes may not happen overnight, but consistent chanting and effort will inevitably lead to positive results. Nichiren wrote, Winter always turns to spring. This beautiful metaphor reminds us that no matter how challenging our current financial situation may be, change is possible through our dedicated practice. As we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money, we should also strive to develop a healthier relationship with money itself. This might involve overcoming limiting beliefs about wealth, learning to manage our resources more effectively, or shifting our perspective from scarcity to abundance. Our chanting practice can help us uncover and transform deep-seated attitudes towards money that may be holding us back. It's worth noting that financial abundance doesn't necessarily mean having vast amounts of money. True abundance is about having enough to live comfortably, pursue our passions, and contribute to others. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can help us redefine what abundance means to us personally and align our financial goals with our deeper values and life purpose. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo for money is not about magically attracting wealth without effort. It's about tapping into our innate wisdom and courage to create value in our lives and society. It's about developing the kind of life state that naturally attracts abundance in all its forms. As we chant, we're not just seeking financial gain, but striving to become individuals of unshakable happiness who can contribute to a more prosperous and harmonious world. Nichiren wrote, When you chant Myoho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. This profound statement reminds us that our practice is not separate from our daily lives, including our financial affairs. By approaching our financial goals with this deep faith and understanding, we can create lives of both material and spiritual abundance. As you continue your journey of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, remember that true wealth goes beyond monetary value. It encompasses the richness of your experiences, the depth of your relationships, and your ability to create value in any circumstance. May your practice bring you the wisdom to navigate your financial path with courage, creativity, and compassion, creating a life of true abundance that benefits both yourself and others.